Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Frilly Off and uh, welcome to another episode on the Just Vanilla server. Right, you left me yesterday. Yesterday. When would it have been? You left me uh, You left me Thursday, uh, which is a couple of days ago now, uh, sobbing into my uh, into my tea uh, because I'd, I'd almost made a catastrophic error when I was taking down the corner of the uh, of the water wall over there. Uh, now, fortunately, it didn't go. It didn't go completely pear-shaped. However, it uh, it's, it scared me enough into into me not wanting to do it at the moment. I've got a, I've got a, I've lost my bottle. I've got a, I've, I've got to regain my bottle before I try it again. Uh, but thanks to Smurf, who, who came over with with a couple of stacks of sponges and helped me uh, help me clear it out. We're back to where we were before it all went uh, all went pear-shaped. So just to show you where we where, that we're back again. Although I can't get that, there's a block in the corner. I've had to put a, a block of glass up there because no matter what I've done, the water comes over the top and it it sort of sticks out, uh, and I just can't get it not to. The only way I've been able to stop it from doing it is by sticking a sticking a, a bit of glass up there. So I might have to just you know block it up a little bit and, and put a blue bit of glass up there uh, to uh, hopefully disguise it a little bit, but. It was made painfully obvious to me uh, on Thursday that that glass at the top there isn't the safety net I assumed it would be. My safety net is going to be that corner down there where Smurf's messing about now. Um, so that, it, that's that got to be below ground level. So if anything comes over the top now, it's going to go down that hole and it won't spread any further. It's a spreading along the floor that... Uh, that causes the trouble, not the spreading along the top. Anyway, uh, like I say, I've lost my bottle. I'm not going to be doing that just yet. What we are doing today, though, uh oh, what we are doing today is uh, is is getting away from a getting away from a witch. Have you seen that witch, Smurf? Have you seen it? <laughs> Cool. Bit of backup. So what we are going to be doing today, and we've got some witches up there. That's a problem, isn't it? Is we're going to start, uh, we're going to start ripping out this area here, uh, and we're going to turn it into a, a, a storage system, which is going to be a big automated storage system. I'm, we're going to have a bit of a display wall, so we're going to have the guardians falling down in the middle. And then on either side, we're probably going to have glass item elevators uh, whizzing the stuff up. I'm hoping that there'll be enough spawns to do that. Otherwise, it's going to look pretty, pretty bleak. Uh, but uh, on a good day, there should be more than enough. So we'll have, we'll have drops going up one side, we'll have drops going up the other. We'll have chests all the way down that wall. We'll have chests all the way down that wall. We'll have a bit of a pattern on the floor. We're going to have something different on the floor here. Uh, I've not quite figured out what it is yet. Let's get away from those guardians because they're making a hell of a noise. Uh, but there will be a bit of a feature on the floor here. We've got to lower the floor down a few more blocks as well to give us a bit of storage space, a few chests. Uh, we're going to have uh, an item sorter around the back. Uh, predominantly, this is going to be that colour. We're going to keep it that colour because I like that colour. And it goes kind of nice with the theme of it. I, I'm not a... I think a room made out of prismarine is going to look very prismarine-y. Uh, and I like that colour, so uh, so we're going to go with that. Uh, and also, we're going to use some hardened clay as well in the middle here. It's uh, the terra glazed terracotta. I think we're going to use light grey glazed terracotta because that's got a bit of a bit of purple in it. A bit of purple, my word. A bit of uh, cyan in it as well, and it looks nice. So we'll have a bit of that in the middle. Uh, so I've got to rip out all of this. I've also taken off my haste two beacon for fear of, of whacking through a block that I shouldn't and, and being rained on by guardians. So I've taken haste two off my beacon and now I've only got haste on my beacon. But just to just to let you know. So uh, I'm going to rip this out, rip out that side a little bit, rip out the floor, and then uh, and then we'll have a play at doing doing a bit of interior decorating. Okay, so I've ripped most of it out and uh, 
uh, and I've started to, to rip out the the drop area and the uh, the item elevator that's going to go over here. I thought to turn those guys down actually. Clearly a little bit too close. I don't like it being dead quiet. Not that I was going to say just in case something creeps up on me, but if it creeps up on me, I'm I'm done for, aren't I? Right. Um, I don't normally. What I need to do now is put in the the dropper. Uh, but what I normally don't do is a lot of redstone on camera because A, I'm not brilliant at it uh, and B, uh, a lot of you guys don't watch Let's Play series to watch somebody run around making a load of uh, load of redstone stuff. So anyway, I'll keep it short, but I did want to do a little bit on camera because I've, a few people have said that uh, I need to do a little bit more. So we'll do that. Rip out a little bit over the back. Red sun torch. You see, this is the, uh, the the bog standard um, comparator um, observer clock kind of thing. Observer. So basically, once something goes into the the dropper. The comparator turns on, the torch turns off, and this goes mental. And I'm hoping that's going to keep up with the uh, with the drops. So it should do. It, in fairness, it really should do. Uh, so we need a couple of blocks there. What I want to do in here, uh, I don't want to put carpet down. I mean, I could do that, and then I could put carpet on there, but I don't want to do that. I just want that block, and in order to be able to suck stuff through a block, brilliant. In order to be able to suck stuff up through a block, I need to put a hopper minecart in there, uh, which is brilliant with the new concrete powder because they obey the the gravity, the physics gravity, like sand and gravel do. So if I put the concrete powder over the top. I blocked it off by the way, I put a couple of blocks up there to stop them from falling on me. Uh, so they're just falling into the lava and staying there. Uh, so in order to get uh, concrete there, uh, I can use, as I say, I can use concrete powder. So what I need first of all is some hopper mine cars. Perfect, right, so I want to, I need to be able to get four hopper minecarts on there, but I can't do that without putting some rails down. Let's get rid of that, no, I need that. Let's get rid of that iron. Normally I'd use powered rails, but I don't have any, so non-powered rails will have to do. Pick it up. Right, so we need to put one there, and I'm, I'm going to need to push one in with a piston because I need to put the rail, I need to put that in now. Let me show you, let me show you rather than talk to you about it. Right. Need that there, I need another block there. So I need to push that over a little bit. You see on normal rails, they just whiz off on powered rails. I don't have any, do I? Mm, no, and I'm not gonna be making any. Right, so if I destroy that, push this over uh, which is good I can then destroy that pick up another minecart hopper put that there I need to be able to push that into there but I need it far enough over to get another block in there which I'm not going to be able to do so if we get rid of that, and then I grab myself a normal piston, a block of redstone. I'm going to need those again. I don't need the observers for a while. Get a normal piston there. Block of redstone there. Brilliant. So now they 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 cramp they crammed in there, and then obviously they won't come out, which is brilliant. Uh, and then if I grab my concrete powder, 
and put it above it. Normally, if I put a block above it, I'd have to force it down with a piston. But because the power to obey is gravity, it falls straight on there. And then all I have to do is cover that with water. That turns into concrete. Fantastic. I know. All right, so we need to do the same here. Hopefully this is going to work. I've not done it with non-powered rails before. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so we need another rail there. Up in minecarts, where are you? Where are you? I did make so I'm pretty sure I made two of them. Um, Put that there. Breaky, breaky. Pushy, pushy. Breaky, breaky. Pushy, pushy. Breaky, breaky. Pushy, pushy. Excellent. Well, I'm not counting chickens just yet. However, that has gone very well. I'm not going to put water on there just yet because obviously it's going to cover my redstone. But once that's covered with water, it's going to turn into concrete. That's phenomenal. So anything that comes down there now and dies on here, let me see if I can show you. Let me, let's lob some stuff on there, shall we? It gets sucked straight into it and then comes out either side and that'll go up in the item elevator. It's going to look fabulous, darling. Right, so I've got the uh, I've got the glass in now, the item elevator in. I've not checked it yet uh, all the way up. Actually, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that now, shall we? Uh, Rob, once it goes up, it's going to go all the way up. And we're going to lose it, so... Uh, I don't want to throw anything in that I'm going to need. Slob in that granite. Brilliant. Uh, that's fabulous. So that, that'll do the same on both sides. I've purposefully knocked out that bit. That bit of glass. Because uh, with that out, anything that goes in there now... Pops out the front and we won't lose it. So if I accidentally drop my tools in there, they won't just disappear off up to... Uh, well, they'll probably go up into the uh, the Guardian farm at the top and then the water will take them down into the lava. So if I drop anything in there that I want to keep, then I'm, I'd be in trouble, which is why I put that kind of thing in. But what I want to do now... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I want to do now is uh, is I can put my water down. Firstly, I can put, turn this into concrete, so I want to put the water down and pick it back up again quite quickly, so it doesn't wreck everything. Brilliant, you see, it's turned into concrete. You'd never know anything was in there. Uh, I love it. Right, now what I want to do is put some chests down. And the chests, uh, before I put the chest down, actually, I need some sea lanterns. As I say, we're not short of sea lanterns. Bit of lighting. I am going to put crafting chests, uh, crafting tables all the way along, but I've run out of wood. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, never got what I need. Oh my god! I'm going to use this as an excuse, and it's uh, it's very poor. As a rule, I don't tend to use excuses however i do play a lot of minecraft at work whether i should or whether i shouldn't it's irrelevant but i do and my mouse at work is slower than the mouse i've got at home when i record videos the one i've got at home is a, a super silent one to stop you from hearing all the clicks and and whatever but it's a little bit quicker so every so often i'll move it and it's uh, it's wrong so I'll use that as an excuse. Right, so we want to put chests down here. I think I'm going to go five high. 
can get yeah, you can get five eye easy enough. I mean, I haven't got enough chests to do all of this, but it'll get me started, won't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I've got some trap chests as well. I ain't got enough, but I'll make. Actually, I'll make them now. Trap chests. Now I could have put them the other way round, but oh, you joker, <laughs> really are, aren't you? Hey, eh? on fire! Uh, but I could have put them length on, face, uh, face ways on, length ways on. Sorry, but I don't like the look of them like that. I much prefer them like that. Uh, because they look like chess then and I'm not going to be putting item frames on the front of them and I'm not going to be putting signs on the front of them because item frames cause lag uh, and so do signs. Right, I've got most of the uh, the redstone in over the back here on my uh, on my stone bricks. I like using stone bricks because you know when you're mining, I've, I think I've mentioned this before, when you're mining through a load of cobble and, and stone and everything uh, especially if you're building underground, which I predominantly tend to do. I haven't in this series, but in the past I've pretty much always been a bit of a bit of a mole uh, built underground. And if you're rattling through a load of stone, if you come across stone brick, there's a very good chance that it was put there by by me because it wouldn't have naturally been there. And uh, so I tend to put all of my redstone, or I try to, I don't do it all the time, but I put my redstone on stone brick. So if I see some stone brick, I know it's either got redstone above it or water or something that I don't want to be disturbed. So, uh, as a rule, I try to put stone brick down when I'm putting redstone down. I don't always do it because I don't always have stone on me. But I try to. Um, right, so the stuff comes up through here. It'll come up through the glowstone into the into the water. It'll go... I can't put packed ice there, which is a shame. Because that's visible from, from down the bottom. But... Uh, It'll be okay. It'll get onto the packed ice here, which whizzes it down into this corner, and then off down the uh, down the sorter. Now I've put a chest there because this aligns the the stuff perfectly on the edge, right on the edge of the of the packed ice. And then I've put panes down here because that way the the, uh, the items will run almost directly down this uh, down the edge. Uh, which means they'll still go really quickly, but they'll be able to get picked up by the by the hoppers, by the sorting system. So it's uh, and you can only do that if you've got a chest there or an ender chest or a bit of cake, because the the boxes of of chests and cake and everything are slightly smaller than a full block, so they go slightly over. I'll show you in a second, but it uh, goes all the way down here. Before I do any though, before before we show you and, and we mess about with it, I have to put some items in the filters. Now I've currently got something in there that pretty much won't go into the system unless I put it in there myself. I mean, there's no way that guardians are going to be dropping wood planks. So I'm hoping that uh, that I'm, I'm safe with that. So in there we want to put we want to put some shards. Now only shards will get sucked into the sucked into that filter. Hopefully, uh, we wanted shards in that one. We wanted crystals in that one. We wanted cooked fish which is now called cooked cod in that one and we wanted ink in that one. Anything else if any raw fish come down if they get killed by cramming or whatever and, and we get raw fish in here um, then uh, then it'll whiz off the end. I might be putting a waste disposal on the end. I might put a cactus. I might put some lava but uh, we're not going to get much. So let me just check these. Well, we currently don't have anything in there. I'll throw some full... I've got to throw them on that side as well because that side goes to that filter. That side goes to that one which is not built yet. So I need to throw them on this side. But if I throw that, 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 cooked fish and some of those. Oh, they won't... Damn, I forgot about that. Right. Okay. It's a minor malfunction. Bring it. I've got 
Uh, there were two hoppers in there. There were two chains of hoppers going into the bottom of the going into the bottom of the dropper. So hopefully, when the uh, the mad fish are dying in there and it's bouncing around, they'll go into both hoppers, and that should be slightly quicker. Uh, I've obviously just thrown them all into one hopper on the other side, so uh, that's why it's taken them a bit of a bit of time to go up. But anyway, we should start getting stuff in here now. And we have got some ink. We haven't got fish yet. We've got some crystals. No shards. The shards won't go into there until all of that is full. Uh, and and all the hoppers behind are full. And then they'll start going into there. We don't have any shards just yet. Shards going through now. And now we're starting to get shards through. Crystals. Ink. Very good. That's pretty much that side done. I've got to put that design on the floor, haven't I? How much time we've got left? We've got a few minutes. I will probably finish the... I've got to finish the other side off, which I'll do now uh, to look the same as this, which is going to be easy enough. I've got to hook up the... Uh, the dropper which will fire the ink into that side which is easy enough to do uh, I've then got the design to put down on the floor uh, which is going to be which is going to be in light grey stained terracotta light grey um, what do you call it anyway the ter terracotta that's glazed glazed terracotta light grey glazed terracotta it's going to look the the business and then we've uh, we've got we've got something special to go in the front I'll, I'll probably do that next episode because it'll be fun doing it on camera and I might need a bit of help so I might have to ask one of the guys on the server to give me a hand with that because it does involve something that's alive uh, and and that should be good fun but I'll uh, let me get the, the design put down the floor put down the roof put in the chests and storage system on this side put up and then we'll have a quick shifty and hopefully see it going before we go. Right, after several hours of work and uh, quite a lot of help from uh, from Smurf, we've we've got it. Uh, we've I think I've got it sorted. It's time for the big reveal. Uh, clearly, this is going to go and this is going to be tightened up quite a lot. But this uh, th this is the entrance to the the storage and you know collection area. It's very, very aqua, uh, which I like, uh, and we've got some kind of, I did toy with the idea of having a big Enderman, uh, big Enderman, a big Guardian face up there, but I, it just, I couldn't get it to look right, so we've uh, we've just gone with the eye instead, and a bit of lighting, because we're not short of any lighting. Uh, I've got all the chests, which are now starting to fill up, been AFK for a few hours, and already... We've had loads of loads of lanterns away for the tunnels already, uh, but already we're starting to get quite a decent amount of drops. That scares me every time I run past it. Um, yeah, fish, fish for days. So we've got a bit of a design going. We're using uh, light grey uh, stained terracotta, glazed terracotta. Uh, some pillars going up made out of white. Concrete, obviously the uh, the, the aqua concre concretey theme around it. In here, we are going to have some guardians, but that's a job for later on. That's a job I'm not going to do today, but that's going to look pretty cool. Uh, and also, as you can see, we've got two item elevators working either side. Now, apart from the clicking, which uh, which you get used to. Uh, they're working really well and on, on occasion when when I've got guardians raining down and it does happen we, we do have guardians you know raining down um, the the, uh, the the elevators look pretty cool uh, it's just today it's not so busy there's not as many as uh, as there is I mean sometimes we don't have any but uh, but some days there are loads of them in there I've reduced the lava drop from three blocks of lava down to two because I was finding that because of the drop uh, the guardians were coming through the lava falling and hitting the floor bouncing once and then dying 
and they weren't putting on much of a show, really. Uh, this is all about a show. So I've, uh, I've, I've, increased, I've decreased the, the, the lava depth by one to two, uh, and now the drop, you know, does the rest of the damage. And the hopper minecarts inside the concrete, it's working really well. They seem to distribute the items pretty evenly on either side, which in fairness, see, there was no reason why they shouldn't. So uh, I hope you like what I've done, what we've done, uh, because I'm I'm pretty much loving it. Uh, the feedback I've had off the server so far has been very positive. Thank you very much for that from everybody. Uh, but uh, yeah, very, very pleased with it. And it's, it's nearly done. Just got to get the Guardians in there. Maybe I'll do that in the next episode. Maybe you guys are just sick to death of me messing around in the Guardian farm and it's time for me to go off and do something else. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. So it's time to call it a day everybody. Thank you very much for watching. It's been brilliant having you along. If you have enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Fully Off in the Guardian Farm and I'm out of here.